Hi, in this video, I want to show you this bookshelf that I got today and I put together today. This is the Mainstays bookshelf and it has one, two, three, four, five shelves. And the middle one is fixed and these you adjust. I decided to go with two shorter ones on the top and then on the bottom, my tall books fit. So it works out pretty nicely. And I did that on purpose because I thought it's better to have more books up top than below. And it's also better to have heavier books on the bottom. So usually the taller books are a little bit heavier. As far as putting this together, I thought it was pretty easy. I think it took me over an hour. I, I did need to use a screwdriver and um, I used a wrench at one point to help tighten the Allen key that it comes with. So it does come with an Allen key, although that could have been done manually. And you need a hammer. So you need a hammer and a Phillips head screwdriver and you'll be good to go and you'll be able to put this together. Overall, I think this is a little bit better than expected. I didn't think it would be this nice. I actually expected it to be a little bit worse, mainly because this is like a budget level, value level um, type bookshelf, right? This is not like a super high end, you know, solid oak bookshelf. Why don't you come closer and take a look and see um, some of the th problems I encountered. So I did damage the bookshelf while putting it together. Uh, right here, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, there's a chip and I think over here, yeah, if you come back over here, I'll show you. There's a couple places where uh, I was nailing in the backboard and there's some chips here. So that was me. It did not come like this. Um, so yeah, pretty easy to put together. The directions are very clear. It does actually come with something else that I'm not using. I haven't even opened it. So it comes with this. And this is so that you can strap it to the wall. For example, if you have kids and you're worried your kids are gonna start climbing the bookshelf, um, you know, you want to make sure it's secure. So it comes with a screw, two screws, two little washers and some type of strap. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so you can basically strap this to a wall. And I believe this is a drywall anchor, so you can screw into drywall. But the directions recommend that you find a stud. Okay, so you're supposed to use a stud, uh, I believe. So check out the directions. If you decide to do that, I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's necessary for my purposes. Um, as you can see here, I have tons of books and I don't know if this bookshelf is going to hold all of these books, but I ordered two more bookshelves um, just in case and that way I can keep uh, collecting uh, math books. So this is my bookshelf. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go ahead and put a book on there. Let's see. Let's put on, <laughs> it's like, it's like the, the cutting of the ribbon, right? So instead of the cutting of the ribbon, it's the placing of a book. So here we have Plain Trigonometry by Sparks and Reese. And and this is where everyone claps, you know, like, you know, they cut the ribbon, the book has been placed upon the bookshelf. So really happy with my purchase, better than I expected. I've had bookshelves like this before and they do okay as long as you leave them stationary. So like if you're gonna be moving this around a lot, eventually these bookshelves, they'll start to bow and wear. However, this one, I don't think it's gonna bow. This feels a lot sturdier than a lot of the other bookshelves I've had. I'm super happy with my purchase. I would buy it again. Um, yeah, it's the Mainstays bookshelf. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.